at somebody and you knew they was right. So, <clears throat> after you hear this, then I want to say my opinion. I want to hear yours. Moments ago, she recorded a message for everyone from the set of Big Brother where she's working on tomorrow night's show. We are all about to hear this message for the first time. Let's roll it. I have been at the talk since the day it started nine years ago. And the cast, crew, and staff have become family to me over the years. But right now, I need to spend more time at home with my husband and our young son. So I've decided to leave the talk. I want to thank everyone at the show for the wonderful years together. I will always, always cherish the memories we shared. Most important, I want to thank you, the viewers, for allowing me into your home every day. It was a privilege that I will forever be grateful for. To everyone behind the scenes, I send you my love. I will miss you all very, very much. To Eve, you're the newest one at the table, but I feel like I've known you forever. You are even more beautiful inside than you are on the outside, if that's even possible, because you know I think you are flawless. Cheryl, thank you for being the perfect go-to partner for the last seven years. I open, you close, and you always bring down the house. We called ourselves the bookends, remember? And we always laughed when we said it to each other. Your wit and timing and humor and compassion and intelligence is simply unparalleled. You are incredible. Carry on? I don't know, but in my opinion, you look awful good sitting in that chair, my Asian sister. I'm just saying. And finally, to Sarah and Sharon. We've been together since day one at the talk. I've spent every day with you both. I will always treasure our friendship, the great parenting advice from both of you, and the memories and laughs and all the private jokes that the three of us have shared. We are the original Three Musketeers. I love you all, and I know this show and the sisterhood it stands for will live on for many, many, many more years to come. You ladies got this, and I cannot be more proud to call you my friends. I love you. What I wanted to say was, you have somebody who's standing by her man and in most under, in most circumstances, you can understand that. But you, your husband is being accused of misconduct against more than seven women. So I do not understand standing by your man in this instance. But that is your that is your right to do that because that is your husband and you love him and your child. But you see, your own co-host Sharon didn't say a word. She kept her head down. So what does that even mean? That that speaks volumes to me. Y'all comment below. Tell me what you think.